Just as your namesake was committed to excellence, just as he was an innovative leader, so too has Letourneau University become an institution known for its dedication to principles and its vision. It all began in 1945, when R.G. Letourneau's search for a new factory site brought him to Longview, Texas. As R.G., his wife Evelyn, and other area civic leaders toured the region by air, Mrs. Letourneau spotted a cluster of deserted buildings. She was told about the now abandoned Harmon Army Hospital slated for demolition. Seems to me if somebody could get to the right person in Washington, they could get that for a school and not just tear it down, she remarked. Carl Estes, a local civic leader, asked, if I could get it for you, will you build a school there? Evelyn looked at R.G. who winked at her and she said yes. It was the combination of the vision of R.G. Letourneau, inventor, entrepreneur, educator, and philanthropist, and Evelyn Letourneau, who had a heart to reach young people. Together, they left a legacy of faith and ingenuity that helped change their world. R.G. Letourneau was born in Richford, Vermont in 1888. R.G. was stubborn and a hard worker, and after surrendering his life to Jesus Christ, his stubbornness became a strength. At 14, he went to work in a foundry shoveling sand, the first of many labor-intensive jobs. While his hands worked, his mind dreamed of better and faster ways of working. In 1910, R.G. settled in Stockton, California, the home of Evelyn Peterson. From an early age, Evelyn had an intense desire to reach young people with the gospel even to the point of making candy for neighborhood kids if they would attend church with her. When the 12-year-old girl first saw R.G. Letourneau, she prayed that God would keep this man 12 years her senior until she was old enough to marry him. Four years later, in 1917, they did marry, a marriage that lasted over 50 years. The Letourneau's spiritual life was impacted by two tragedies, the death of their three-month-old son from influenza and a serious auto accident that claimed the lives of two employees and seriously injured both mom and pop Letourneau. Those tragedies made them determined to seek God first in all things. While struggling with the desire to serve God full-time and build a business, their pastor told R.G. that God needs businessmen as well as preachers. That idea revolutionized their lives. R.G. became a mover of men and spent the next 30 years traveling the world helping build the kingdom of God at his own expense. R.G. was also known as a mover of mountains. Nearly every type of modern heavy earth moving equipment owes its design to R.G. Letourneau. Notable inventions include the electric wheel and the Turnipool carry-all, the forerunner to the modern earth mover. He invented the mighty tree crusher, the bulldozer, and built 70% of the heavy earth moving equipment used in World War II. R.G. was the first major manufacturer to make welding a universally accepted process, and he invented the offshore drilling platform. His first rig customer was George Bush, owner of Zapata Drilling, who credits R.G.'s offshore rig with enabling him to gain the wealth and freedom to become involved in politics. R.G. Letourneau was such a prolific inventor that he holds over 430 patents and is rated as one of the top 20 inventors in history. Evelyn Letourneau, voted National Mother of the Year in 1968, was known by all as Mom. While her husband worked long hours, Mom kept house, raised six kids, and invested her life in students and the young men her husband employed. Mom fed, counseled, conducted Bible studies, transported to church, housed employees, and founded many Christian camps. One of her first employees at these camps was a thin, young Wheaton graduate named Billy Graham. Mom and Pop Letourneau had a burden to help employees who needed further education and spiritual ministry. R.G. began training programs in his factories that taught employees skills in mathematics, mechanical drawing, welding, machine theory, and more. These schools proved to be the forerunner of what became the Letourneau's most significant ministry. It started with that wink on the plane ride over Longview in 1945 and has since shaped the lives of countless young people. The 156 acres and 232 buildings that became Letourneau Technical Institute were marked from the beginning by mom and pop's character and ideas. Classes began in 1946 with 196 registered students. Bachelor degrees were offered in electrical maintenance, building trades, welding, metallurgy, machine tool, lithography, linotyping, and industrial science. 
In 1961, the name was changed to Letourneau College, and it became coeducational. In 1962, the Letourneau son Richard took over as president. He spent his energies in developing the spiritual and academic life of the school and holding it to the ideals of his parents. Other leaders through time helped shape the university's character and vision. 